vision. How to trade forex like a professional? Years ago, I decided to be a forex trader. And to be a successful forex trader, you need to move with the markets. So in this short video, I'm going to show you the forex advanced market manipulation. Forget about whatever you were told in the past, that the market is too big to be manipulated. There are big hedge funds, big banking institutions that have hundreds of billions of dollars at their own disposal each and every day. Remember, one trillion is one million times one billion. Where do you think the five trillion dollar trading volume comes from? That alone should open your eyes. I'm also going to talk about the Forex trend lines trading strategy, Forex news trading, support and resistance Forex strategies, and how these banking institutions known as market makers rather use that as their own tool for manipulating the markets. Remember, 90% of the traders or maybe 95% of the traders, they lose money. Why? They buy breakouts, they sell breakdowns, they are literally chasing the markets. Retail traders, they open big positions, lack of money management strategies. They do revenge trading. When you lose, do not like revenge trading. They predict the market. That is one big mistake a lot of people are doing. They try to predict the market instead of seeing the market for what it is. They have higher success rate, but they collect small profits. So you find out by the end of the day when you take like 10 trades, you win 9 trades and then you lose 1 trade that is going to kill all the profit that you have been making on all those other trades. So your equity will keep on going down. The fear of losing. Like when you lose one trade just because you think the strategy is so solid and then you start, you are afraid now to put even another trade. There is greed, greedness, overconfidence. There are a lot of other factors that can affect the way you trade or your trading career. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to trade like a professional. I'm going to show you how to make pips each and every day. I'm going to show you a system that I personally developed. And I don't want you to take my word for it. So I'm going to show you the proof. And then I'm going to explain the market manipulation behind each and every strategy that you know. We are trading against the quantum and also the the algorithms. So they are so precise that you can never beat them unless you know exactly what they are doing. So this is my telegram group where I'm sending forex signals for free. Uh, right now, uh, okay, let me say today. Today, let's see the date. Today is 30 October, right? You can see it here. I send a signal at around 8.30 a.m. This is like GMT plus 2. Because I'm from Africa. So this was a sell trade. I send it. I said sell at 1.8062. So if you go to the charts. This is MetaTrader. If you look here, I entered the trade late because I was busy typing and putting the other guys in front. So you find out the other people who entered this trade, they actually got they, they got in at 62. Me, I ended up getting in at 5. It's what 52. Down, you can see here. This is where, where I entered the trade. And this is the stop loss. So the take profit that I hit, the take profit has been hit now. You can see the, the take profit is there. It has just been hit. But mine, I've put my, my take profit just below. Because I know that I will be watching the, the, the market. But if you go to the 
telegram channel you see that i send the signal the take profit is 79.52 so if you check here this is now 79.47 it means i have to update the guys that the take profit has been hit and me i'm going to keep trailing this trade because i ended a bit late so i, wa I also want to get something from it so i i'm adjusting my stop loss i have put my stop loss to break even i'll continue to follow this trade so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to update the guys uh, i'm going to just update these guys so if you check down here i actually updated it at skisty pips all right so now the take profit has been hit uh, let's see how many pips was it it's 100 and something to skisty 9 is it is it skisty 9 or skisty 2 okay this is skisty 2 it's about 110 115 pips take profit hit just from today so let's update the guys 115 not 50 115 pips take profit hit take profit hit take profit so if you want you can also join the free signal service that i'm providing for now you can just pause the video go to the description below and click on the you find the telegram forex signal group you can join there so far i'm not charging anything for it i'm just giving the signals for free so let's just update the guys here that we hit the take profit 115 pips money 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 yes come on why didn't you go here let's send the guys so you can see it here in the group that it's been updated you see the guys start watching checking the signals here so i don't want to waste time on this uh let's go to the next signal so i also received uh what is this i also received some other people they took that trade but they have small accounts so you can see here that they were also in profit and also the other ones oh you know no, this is the same one oh, also these ones so this one took the two trades the pound card and then also the 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 oz one so if we go to the to the card where is it all right so you can see this is the trade okay we are also in profit on this one this is about 70 let's just say it's 80 pips because there was a small week at the bottom so this one is 80 pips in the profit which is this one here it's still running so i'm going to just update so that the other ones who are following this can also move their break okay this is about 80 pips in profit now let's tell them what is happening these guys i'm sure they are some of them are sleeping eighty pips running in profit yes okay so with that being said or that being demonstrated you can see already that i'm making money this is not the these are not the only trades that i have because i also have uh aussie one this one here this one is in profit but it's starting to go back up it was in profit all the way to to 55 pips so if you also go to my 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 channel you will see this trade uh where was it sent okay this is the one i also updated it here at 55 pips which was running in profit i also had this one it ended up closing on break even uh let's where is where are we so you can see here we also have another one here 
this is a euro usd i think i still have it open it's still there let me look for it okay it's also going okay this trade this is uh, how many pips now about 65 pips in profit all right this is my stop loss this is my entry and this is my take profit right so what i'm going to do here i uh, want to see if i updated this trade right now it's at what i last updated it 40 pips let me just update it so that you guys can know uh, about 60 what 65 pips i'll just update this one and after that i'm going to show you how the market is being manipulated each and every day Excuse the pips running profit. Okay, we can go on and go on. You also see the losing trades. I also update my losing trades. The biggest stop loss that I put, uh, you see, this was a stop loss that was hit, it was too tight. The biggest stop loss that I put is normally 50 pips especially for the pound pound pays uh, on euro alt this was a stop loss that was hit this was 30 pips and then this was 20 pips profit this was another stop loss that was hit uh, we keep on going you see this is about 62 pips in profit usd uh, south african rand in new zealand usd 48 pips mm, pound out stop loss hit pound card 30 pips 50 pips so i can keep on scrolling 28 pips 100 pips take profit hit and then these are this is a big trade that i took this was 280 pips in profit right uh how do i remove this so we say 100 pips what are these two different yes this is euro card 100 pips and this was a uh, pound card which was on 280 pips and this was euro usd about 100 pips take profit that was hit uh, this was the us index 300 pips in one day so if you notice this is 24 october if you check also the other trades, you find out they are on 24 October, and this is a lot. It's a lot of pips. So on this date, this was when this was also 20, 24 October. I made 140 pips going up, and then 120 going down. So with that being said, you can already see that this system is very solid. You can look here, 45 pips. I can keep on scrolling and all that. You see all the trade, the pound, what is it? The gold trade, take profit, 100 pips, 90 pips, uh, being updated each and every day. So the stop loss, stop loss, I also show that. 50 pips in profit. Uh, this one was what? 145 pips in profit. So if you keep on going, you see that the transparency in this channel is just incredible. It's more than all those other paid services. So I want you guys to also help me grow this channel. Alright, so you can also see the other proof from the other, other traders. Some of them, they have very small accounts though. But they will grow. This was a pound ad, 120 pips, 80 pips. 45 pips so i'm just counting it's pips before money so this is interesting i'm going to explain how my system works and if you also want the system i can also give you the system but you have to conduct me there's a price for that system i'm not giving it for free if you want the free services you can join the telegram group i'm going to also show you okay this is where i wanted to show you this day was on when was this this was 10 october on 10 october 
I made 975 pips that day alone. So even if you check going back, right? I want you to see all this. This is when we success. Wow. So I want to start by this one here. The USD South African rent. That was 145 pips. It was sent in the group. If you go down here, you see it here. 145 pips which was still running all right let's check the other ones i just want to show you the transparent in this group uh where are the other ones okay it's up what is this one mm. okay this was the other one the euro usd take profit was hit this trade was from a day before but it closed the same day so you find it here euro usd 130 pips it was actually from last week it was this was monday huh? i think this was monday is it i'm not sure but this trade was from last week and it has been in the range so i'm also going to explain about the ranging markets and the breakout markets and the reversal markets so i want you to watch this video to the end so that you can also have that knowledge i'm sure each of you each and every one of you whatever strategy that you are using it works but you just need someone to show you the direction so this was another one this was the one for yesterday the euro ad that's 110 pips it's also here uh what is it euro ad 110 pips from yesterday so with that being said let me quickly go to the charts and show you exactly what i how the market is being manipulated all right so this is a euro usd chart first i want to explain about the three markets that are there uh let me show you on this one here because it's already prepared there are three markets there's the asian session london session and new york session those are the main markets right so that's what i'm dealing with those those are the ones with all the liquidity and all the movement so you are going to see here where it's highlighted this is a the asian market where it's highlighted is the asian market right so the asian market most of the time it's in consolidation meaning it's within a range it's a ranging market you see and the london market the london session that is the breakout session so you find out the london london session there is a breakout but and then the new york there's a reversal right so i want you to, to pay attention to that this is today today is tuesday that's 30 october this this was in the consolidation the asian session and this is the breakout for the london session right so right now we are waiting for the reversal not all the time you get the reversal but most of the time that's what is going to happen in the market so whichever strategy that you have make sure it's you know about that it's going to help you also to have a solid strategy and good entries and also know that the market is going to break out and come back this is how you are going to take your trades so for each and every one you have your own strategy right because it's not like one size fit all so you see here on monday yesterday the same thing happened this is consolidation breakout and the reversal so sometimes you get a false breakout and then it breaks out the other side and then it will reverse but this was the breakout with one candle so that you cannot enter because they know that you are waiting for that right that's another way of manipulating the market by the time you enter your trade here down here this is a breakout from the asian session right and i said remember on the start of this video i said they are e, there is a um, retracement traders and breakout traders those are the two main categories so you find out you are one of them so here this was a breakout 
right but it's it it didn't continue it just went back because they know that there are people waiting for the london breakout here you win and then this it retrace sometimes you win it retrace you see so you can see that the consolidation consolidation and you have a small breakout in retracement consolidation breakout retracement here okay they don't want the pattern to be known so sometimes they will just pollute it like make it dead so that you don't see it to make create an illusion this is the same consolidation breakout reverse consolidation a false breakout breakout reverse consolidation and then in some other times you find out the market from the weekend from friday when you open monday or sunday the market just jump like this this is actually another type of stop hand i'm also going to talk about the stop hand so if i can keep on going and show you where the market is being manipulated i'm going to explain exactly when when it's being manipulated i'll give you a proper example I'll also look at another current so that you can know. So there's another point that I want to express. If you decide that, okay, I know that there's a breakout, reversal, there's a consolidation. So I'm not going to put a stop loss until it reverse. That's another big challenge that, that another, you cannot trade without a stop loss unless you really know what you're doing right was you wipe out all the account this was the consolidation somewhere here right and this was a breakout you can see it here right so if you decided that okay this is a breakout is going down right i don't put stop loss until it until i know you see or whatever you decide there if you don't put a stop loss You'll be waiting for the market to move down because there's a breakout here. It didn't go anywhere. You wait for the candle to close. It only moved about 10 pips and then it reversed. So if you didn't put a stop loss there, you find out this is about the... Uh, 200 pips. And it will be hard for you to recover from there. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's look at another currents, all right, in another type of manipulation for the trend lines. So here I can actually see a manipulation of the market here. Just by looking, you can see the manipulation of the market. If you put this, right, this was sort of a, a resistance. It went down. It came back here. You see, this is the first resistance that you get. So most of the people, they will take it there because they know that it hasn't been hit for some time. And they will put their stop loss. So the resistance is not just a line. It's actually a, a channel. So you find out this is your resistance somewhere around here. Right. So... If you take your trade, you want to take the trade somewhere in between here, in within this uh, this this channel, right? So what happens? You see the first the first time hit, the second time the resistance is hit. Some of the traders will enter once once they see this. Let me zoom it up so that you can see it properly. Some of the traders will be entering the market just here. This is a confirmation. If you were waiting for a confirmation candle, this is one of them. Or if you saw this one, you might even enter on the next one here. You see? You enter here because this is this is like two two dodgy, dodgy candles. And you are being told, you are being told lies that you see dodgy candles, the market will return. Will turn back. So this is another market manipulation. They make that indecisive candle here exactly at the point of of interest the the zone of of resistance right so if you didn't end on the first time yeah and see the market going up 
you say okay i was right to wait and then you see this one here this is an engulfing candlestick you see it in the support or resistance zone you are going to quickly rush and take the trade because this is a confirmed one and if you didn't enter after this one you see that even the following candles here these are like hourly chart this is an hour chart so this is like one candle represent one hour so i'm sure if you wait for an hour and see this this pattern here you are going to enter here if you don't you are not you are going to enter on there or you are going to wait and make sure that you are confirmed you have confirmed this so there's also another thing called uh, i don't know they call it three little soldiers i don't use those like you see three consecutive candles with same color this is a high probability that it's going to go especially when you see it on the resistance like this they know that the market makers so they want you to sell there so that they can buy right so just imagine you 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 wanted to be so careful you put your trade somewhere around here your stop loss you just put it just above here no one is crazy enough to put a stop loss up here they just want it to be just above here but look what happened when the market moves you don't know all these candles they are still not there on the market it will be like this so this is just an illusion you you, you are not sure you are not but you are seeing some confirmation here you enter your trade it comes it hit the first stop loss so what happens here this is another manipulation right they want to show you that if you put your stop loss just above here above here it's not going to get hit that's why they give you this pin bar this pin bar is also another manipulation to show that it failed to go now it's definitely going to go down followed by this candle everyone else will enter there if you didn't enter there you will see this one here you know that once it touched the i don't know whether you call it double top or whatever but it doesn't work so you are going to enter here once you see the close of this candle you are going to definitely enter here was the you maybe you're seeing the double top and this is the third time it's hit it has been failing to go up this is actually the market manipulation that they want you to think that it's going to go down right so that you place your trade and put your stop loss just above even if they want you to even if they want to go down they are first going to manipulate the market like what they are doing here when it's in this consolidation because they know that you are going to put your stop loss just above right so what happens you put your stop loss just above before they go there's something called a stop hunt which is this big the big candle with a long wick it's just to hunt all those stops i'm sure you know that in the majority of the traders they are going to put their stop loss they will be clustered all over around here all over they can they cannot be on the same level but some they might be but whatever they are going to hit each and every one of them before they go all right so you now that you know that there's something called a stop hunt this is something i wish someone taught me before so all these stop losses that you'll be that will be clustered here they are going to get hit and then the market start going down all right so by the time the the price is up here a lot of breakout traders are going to take the buys here it's done for a purpose a lot of break breakout traders are going to take trades somewhere up here when it's still up here so they will be also putting their stop loss just be below here what's going to happen the market is going to go down because all the sellers are stopped out only a few which is why sometimes it's better not to put a tight stop loss only a few will be left uh, up here because they will be above you see but for you to be able to put those big big stop losses you need to have a uh, risk management because if you are going to over risk you find you feel like the stop loss that i'm putting is too big or i'm going to lose a lot of money if it's a losing trade right so you are going to put your stop loss with the others here 
and over risk and then get stopped out with the others the same applies if you're buying here you get stopped with the others also so this is just how the market works i can show you a lot of examples here you can see that the same thing happened here this is just they want you they know all those people all those people who said they are stop or they stop orders they sell orders i don't know whatever e, so if you set a sell limit somewhere around here you see this this top was hit this is now your support the time you let's say you just set your yourself so that when the market reaches there it should activate the trade and go down All right before it goes down look what happens again it's hunting for the stop loss All right and then it goes your way and then now this is another manipulation was it stopped out everyone who, who had put a stop loss just above here All right just above here and took a down trade right so now this is another manipulation if if you were not stopped here yeah boys you'll be thinking they are waiting for all all the other also traders to to enter the trade there's also something called a pin bar which is the one you are looking at right now this one i don't know some of them they call them converted hammer or whatever name it doesn't work They'll be waiting that this is a, a rejection on a point of interest. This is a resistance now. A rejection on the that interest. Once you see this engulfing candle, you are going to run and take your trade there. So, what's going to happen here? Uh, let me just remove this telegram. It keeps on popping up, showing me some messages. Alright. So, what's going to happen here? If you didn't enter here, was you think the stop loss it actually occurred? The the stop hand is actually occurred. They have different types of stop hands and also they have different sizes. Sometimes they can give you this, so that when they give you these candles, you are already thinking the market is going to go down. If you are not sure, this one is still this in the range. You wait for this one to close. By the time you enter the trade, you are down here. It only moved about 15 pips and then it goes it goes even above this one of which no very very few pe people will put the, the stop above this but it was also hit and at the same time this one was hit they are hunting for this one but as they are hunting they want you to put that that line here a trend line like i said it, it's not just one line but this is the range right so since this is the range since this is the range they are hunting for people who put their stop loss above here uh, they are hunting for the people who put who put their stop loss on this trade here they will put just somewhere around here all the stops were hit here right and then also they want to trap you so that you see this other dodgy funny candle followed by engulfing candle on this other resistant you think now this is the resistant you take your trade stop and right if you take your down trade somewhere here stop and all right so this is just a, how the market is being manipulated so you can see that they are pushing the market so that it goes into the range that you want so that they can stop you out right so this is another it's called a flag i don't know whatever they call it but it doesn't work so this is the the they call it a flag flag or something i don't know or a descending triangle i don't know or this is, is it a wedge whatever it is so the market manipulation you have to understand it from this perspective so that you know exactly when the big guys are buying and when they are selling they first send the market was they know that this is it's becoming tighter here 
obviously you are expecting that it's going to break out and go up was if is this flag whatever they call it it normally breaks going up it didn't happen so you think it had failed so now if you were using this other trend line like this one here right you go here you put your trade here all you do you just say okay this is my stop right because you end at here you don't want a big stop loss it's going to get hit here before it goes down if you are lucky you will be able to get in but you want you just collect a small profit thinking it's going back or you enter here and you put your your trade here when you enter it goes down you are waiting to touch at least this support right so that you also benefit from it so what happens you enter your trade here it goes down this is about uh, 30 pips you move your stop loss to break even right it comes back it hits your stop loss or it just come back this is when before you most of the time you don't put just now you wait when you see it fail to hit that entry again it start going down that's when you are going to put your stop loss and then this is how the market is being manipulated they know that if you enter down here your stop loss is still above here so they want you to to go out and then they send it down right so in some cases that's when you can be lucky you see this one two three candles following each other and then you take the trade it keeps on going all the way but the fear of losing and greedy you are going to collect a small profit so let's check also here you can see here this is uh is it a double bottom or whatever i don't know what they call it so what happens you see the support hit it goes up it hits again it goes up it hits the third time right so what you are going to do now when you see these candles you are going to take your what your trade to go up in some cases you might be lucky but what happens you when you take this profit we take this trade your target profit should be somewhere around here because you are trying to make it go above here or even just here right you keep on waiting with one candle when you just move away from your computer 40 pips gone from your profit this happens for a reason it's not just it that's why it's so difficult for people to make money in forex so you see also here it come back like it's so strong and it even break out this is a breakout this is for breakout traders so all the breakout traders when they see this happening it close just below the resistance the support they sell breakdowns so you sell on the next candle you just move like 10 pips your stop loss is somewhere around this range or just above it comes back it stops you out right if you are a retracement trader when it breaks out you are going to wait and then after you wait it's going to come again and take you out right because the stop loss will be somewhere you above here it's take you out so this is the the market manipulation at another level so you see also here this is a channel like a a, a resistant what happens it hits the first time second time third time it gives you an engulfing candle you enter takes you out gives you a, a breakout on top here you enter it takes you out which is why most of the time if you are not aware or if you don't know how the market works you think there's always someone trading against you how many of you have ever thought that there's someone who is watching my trades every time i enter a trade so which is why i developed this system it's going to filter a lot of this this noise so what happens with this system uh let me just show you from here i wanted to show you where there is too much noise 
so that you can see how what you will be losing okay yeah like here i think this is a good example so what happens with my system when the green bar forms this is the green bar it will give you a sound alert in the direction that you should buy so you, you are going to end on the first bar anyway in within the first bar let me show you like uh anyway in in between the first bar right so you take your trade if the trade moves in your pro in the profit like now you move your stop to break even or just below the break even so that if they come and test your break even they might not even touch it because they are not going to be looking for only your stop there are a lot of stops that will be up here after the end of the trade those are the same stops that i was showing you they tested the break even was you, you end on the first bar here, somewhere here. They test you the first time, the second time. So you, you know that this system, I will close the trade if it turns red. Why? Right. So if it turns red, if it's in pro, it deep down in the profit, and you still think that it it's going to go down, you are going to move your stop to break even. So in this case, you're going to enter somewhere here. They will test your stop. They test your, your 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 if you are on break even, so that they take you out. And then, in forex trading, you just need a few pips. So in some cases, you find out that you have already taken the trade and you are already out, right? Which is why I say with my system, you enter when the trade moves in your direction, you will move to break even or wait for the opposite candle to form almost the box to form so in this case you'll be just this will be just maybe a break even or a small win and then the next trade is also like that this is where when it's in consolidation this is another you enter it goes down once it comes back and it forms the green box you close your trade this will be a what a small loss of about 20 pips if you wait for it to to close the bar but otherwise, it's you set your stop loss all the time when you trade so that it's either to hit the stop loss or you close it manually. So here you're going to enter here. This was going to be a losing trade because it only went about 10 pips and then it went down. It went down to about, uh, you can say 40 pips, right? So it means you are losing 40 pips here. All right. So let's continue to check. Uh, this is interesting. All right. This is what we're looking at. The next trade that you take. That's what? 140 pips. So even if you lost here, you lost here, or you lost here, and then when you win 140 pips, you can recover. This is the next trade. You also enter in within here. It went up. You can see it here. You can see this green thing. It actually went up to here, so you're going to also break even. But even if it was a, a loss, you just lose when you end up. I think it activated on this candle. Even if you were on top here, you only lose what? About 50 pips. And then the next trade, you lose what? Uh, you end up here. If you end up late, it goes down 24 pips. This is when someone can move into break even. If you don't, you are going to be stopped. This is 30 pips, right? So now I know that I've lost 50 year, 30 year. Uh, it's about 80 pips. So my money management, I have to target at least 80 pips, right? This was 100 pips. Means I'm back. And then I end another trade here. This is 45 pips. I end another trade here. This is a big one. This is about 300 pips, more than 300. And then when you lose, this is why I was saying this system will make your losers, your winners run and you and, and cut down your losses. So this is a loss you end up, say that you go to break even or it will be just a small. But when you win the trade, there are a lot of big wins. This is another 100 pips. This is, you end on the first box, you go 
40 pips you're going to break even same applies to this one break even you enter here if you decide to close when the the red forms that's about 250 pips otherwise once you start seeing this if you know the markets once you start with that man market manipulation you can still know that it's going to go up to have that stop hand which is here so you can see how the system works i can show you a lot of trades this is about 80 pips in profit this is just a small loss 30 let's say 40 190 pips in profit this is a small loss uh, another this is a break even this can be a break even also this is 60 pips so this is about uh, 90 pips so you can go on and go on you can see the winners are there there's nothing to hide here you can see a lot of big wins so it's up to you to be disciplined these are 100 pips 67 pips 185 245 this you end up anyway in between this this box so what this system does it remove the time the time equation instead of you trading saying there's time there's what this actually removes the time to filter all that noise all that up and down that happens here which confuse you like you are thinking the market is going there's a engulfing candle there's what you are not going to be looking at that you're only going to be looking at, at this system making your pips this is 100 skist this is 157 this is 40 uh this is about 133 so here instead of you thinking let's say if you are using that criteria of looking for engulfing candles and all those other patterns what happens this is the same thing that i was trying to explain but i want to show you that if you are using my system it's going to remove that i think this is the same uh no anyway let me draw it afresh mm -hmm. so what happens we are looking for that triangle again i don't know what the what you call those triangles right or that flag or whatever You are looking for those breakouts once it breaks here you are going to take a down trade right and then what comes follow follows the what this and then people will be buying here because it failed most of the time we believe when it fails it means it's another signal for the opposite side but it will come and take you out all of you and then it goes the same direction Look at this system. It didn't change. It's still red. It's still showing you that because in some cases you are not going to win all the trades. If you enter a trade, if it fails and you see that there's a possibility and it's followed by all this, you can still enter that trade. Unless it turns into green, you do not enter that trade. So in this one, I was still going to enter because I have, I can have this long week I'm not looking at it i'm just looking at it as just any other candle what i'm looking for is this All right so you can see that the system is very easy to use and it doesn't repaint 
so you can see a lot of these other nice trays that are there so it's not just one currency i can also show you other currencies like this is euro jpy jpy this is uh from monday from yesterday this was a buy 100 pips so this system can also be used on different time frames this is uh on friday this was 133 pips and also 50 pips 130 so if you enter anywhere in between here you find out when it goes in your direction you move to break even so this is uh 130 pips 145 somewhere there so this is 100 and then this was going to be a losing trade you can't win all the time there is no system if you are one of those people looking for a system that is 100 percent you are wasting your time the forex market doesn't work like that so this was going to be a buy and then a small loss i think about 40 pips so i know that i have lost 40 pips my next trade i'm targeting at least one is to two right so that i get back the 40 that i lost or I just have to target that 40 that I lost to recover and then I will put another trade later on. Alright. So this is 80 pips. Uh, 90 pips. So I can go on and go on and show you. So there are some other times when the market is just not good for trading. You see, but it will help you boys. You are not going to keep on making trades there. Once you see that this is a this is a buy trade, by the time it fails, it's green. It's a sell trade, right? If you ended anyway on this box, the next box, this was about eighty hundred pips. So I can keep on showing you, and you can see a lot of big moves so my system can also be adjusted i can use it on different time frames and i can also use higher time frames just to filter out the the noise i can also adjust the the notification bar when do i want it so with that being said let me show you the system in action so if you are a forex trader you know that you are not you are, you are not going to win all the trades so whichever system that you are going to get you you will never win 100 percent all you need is proper money management so that you get back your losses and compounding your, your your growth so what happens here you can see on the system you can see the green green is for buy red is for sell
so it took me three days to make this video so right now i can update you today it's uh you can see at the bottom here this is one november and we have an open trade for pound us dollar so this is our entry and the one below is just our our stop loss we moved our stop loss just 10 pips below the entry so right now you can see the trade is about 77 pips in the money so i just want to update this in the telegram group so that you can also see what's happening in the group right now all right you can see here this is the pound us dollar that's the trade this is for today if i scroll up you can see well uh, anyway i still have to scroll up so let me just update this one it's still open so now it's 70 okay I, I updated the last time i updated i told them to move the stop loss just 10 pips below you can see it here so now it was 77 pips running in profit 77 pips profit running profit running let me tell them to move the trade to break even move. trade break even so this is our pound trade this is so interesting my my system it makes everything very very easy because if i just make a video and tell you that i'm making more than 200 or even sometimes i make more than 700 pips a day so today i want to go through the trades for today uh this is the one for 70, 77 pips in profit the one which is still running uh, where is this guy going i want you to come here Mm -hmm. money where is my my money where is this money guy come on anyway i'll just leave this guy here 77 pips running in profit so i can also check just before this is the same trade so i also send a us dollar south african rent this one is uh it was 160 pips we closed 160 pips in profit and this is just today uh what's this okay okay this one i was showing the one for today it's 110 pips yesterday was 150 pips on the same current and then a day before yesterday i think we saw this one this is the one it should be there in the video we took this trade okay this is how to conduct the admin okay this one was for yesterday and today it moved 110 pips and then dropped back and then another 110 pips and then which one is this one this one is also 160 pips for one november this is pound yen and then we also had this interesting trade here this was a pound australian dollar is it today yes it's, it's today this one here so it's also 85 pips and then we also i also had this one but i didn't send it in the group i made 
85 pips because i don't send all the signals in the group i just send a few this is the same one we updated down there so this is the one that i took this trade is still running but it's still like uh dancing around the break even so for yesterday i think this is the one this was for yesterday right the one we saw down there this one we saw it together i think the one we last updated is uh, 62 pips it later on hit the take profit of 80 pips so what happened with my other broker i didn't close it actually turned back about three pips away so i had to close it manually okay there was also a loss yesterday that was a 30 pip stop loss yesterday pound card i think we updated this one if i'm not mistaken it later on hit the take profit 130 pips okay here is where we, we started i show you this already so i also have a lot of other trades that i don't show here you okay, see the guys are checking now huh? let's see what the these other guys are saying okay this is interesting okay the other trade i thought it's actually still dancing around the the break even someone is posting here is making some money with it and then this is the other one this is just proof from the other guys who are in the group mm, what are people saying here okay this one is tra is actually trading alone here's my my system love this system a lot yeah? So thank you so much guys for watching my video. Please like, subscribe and also share the video. Let us grow this channel. You can also get my signals for free. Thank you. Take care.